G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, the saga of the Action Lab SR2 continues. Flatsoid is taking it rather hard. He released a YouTube short saying that he's fine. We know he's not. Let's have a listen to just how fine he is. The second rocket shown by Action Lab was easily seen to move prior to the exhaust contacting the edge. And guess what? You got very upset, boy. No, Wally. It only moves after it contacts the container wall. Let's look. Position not move. Not move. Not move. Move. Staying stay. Moves. Not moves. Moves. You got this whole backwards, Wally. Can't you see it only moves after it contacts the container wall? Space is fake, mate. Well, I have to say that Flatsoid, you are very much misinterpreting what I said. I had said that both images were taken from the video and the second one was before the smoke contacted the far wall. We can see that that is the case. But just like Level Earth Observer, you had to double down and just claim that it was all good, didn't you? Now, this made me think that I needed to do a deep dive and get a bit more, well, scientific about this five seconds of video. So I cropped the five seconds of interest from the highest possible resolution video I could get from Action Lab. And I put a timer on it for reference. Then I amplified the suppressed audio to reveal just how hard the little rocket was trying to get going. Now look, I'll slow it down a bit, half speed, just so that you can get a feel for really what's going on and the effort that that mighty little rocket had to exert. Ready? For now so I can do this. You got this? Okay, so let's get our science hats on. I will measure the horizontal displacement of the rocket and I will make that the dependent variable as a proxy for rocket thrust. And for time, I will use the frame count on the x-axis as the independent variable as we are monitoring the performance of the rocket. Yeah, you heard me, time goes on the x-axis. Yes, I said time as the independent variable. Time will manipulate itself and all you need to do is just sit back and wait. Now the original video runs at 60 frames per second. So that means in five seconds, I have 300 images in this video. And I ain't gonna go and look at each one of those to measure the X position of the SR2. Well, long story short, ChatGBT, a clever son, some Python code and some tracking software and voila, we have a graph of the X position over time. Now I made some marks on this graph so that we can see when first smoke appeared at two seconds and the time that the smoke reached the far wall at three seconds. But we see that the significant movement of the SR2 doesn't happen for almost two seconds later than that. And all that time, the smoke is hitting the wall, wave after wave, time after time, and yet nearly two seconds before the exhaust runs clean and clear, and then zing, away it goes. My take on this, for what it's worth, Flatsoid, is that Action Lab packed the SR1 rocket with lots of flash paper, and it went off like, well, you know, a rocket. There was no visible exhaust touching the far wall in that example now, was there? But it blew up. So for the SR2, I think Action Lab used less flash paper, and combined with the large orifice of the larger syringe, it meant it took longer to get up ahead of pressure. But the main point of all this is, Flatsoid, you're still wrong. Your unsubstantiated claim was this. Staying state, moves. Not moves, moves. You got this whole backwards, Wally. The still that you are pointing to and claiming that it moves is at the three second mark on this graph. Do you see any substantial movement indicating that the contacting of the far wall had any effect? The answer is no. So not only does the SR1 rocket debunk your claim as it moved immediately, but SR2 also debunks your claim as it took a further 1.5 seconds or thereabouts after the wafting a little bit of fluffy smoke at the wall 50 centimeters away before the SR2 finally took off. You really do need to try doing some precise measurements, dude. Just eyeballing it is once again your downfall, just like it was in Skegness. Derp. Oh, derp. Oh, derp. Derp. Thanks, guys.